Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I'm going to answer a question from one of you lovely subscribers. So stay tuned. All right, family, before we go ahead and get started with the question of the day, if you have not checked out any of my online courses or if you are new here to I Love Me Me Me, I love to help you guys with your relationships specifically having healthy romantic relationships so my online courses I have three of them depending on which stage of dating you are absolutely in so the first one is called the super singles course and um, this is specifically for people that need to know exactly who they are before they start dating ideally however if you are in the dating stages or if you are in a relationship already this course can still help you out to understand exactly who you are what you want and especially if you have not gotten married yet maybe you aren't getting everything that you need out of this relationship or at least making this relationship worthwhile to take it to the next step this program my super singles course program will actually help you understand what you want need and desire and to see if the, after you finish this program if you should even continue on with this relationship that will absolutely get you basically tunnel vision and focus to see exactly who you are understanding as much as possible about yourself and then that's going to bleed into if you are in the daily stages or if you are in the long-term marriage stage or um you know if, if you need to move on or not the second program that I have is for the people that are actually in the dating stages and you need some help navigating through the dating stages because you're just kind of you're, you're tired of being out there just hoping that everything is going to fall into place because nothing is just going to fall into place especially if you are going along with somebody else's program and not your own all right this program is going to help you to navigate with the date through the dating stages what you should be expecting, what to look for, you know, how to go about it is going to give you that much more direction that you need. And then the third stage, as I mentioned before, is long term or marriage stage. You need to bring a little bit more spice back into your life. You're kind of tired of the mundaneness of your relationship. You need to respect your partner more. You need to respect yourself more. That relationship is going to help you bring back the love, the cuddles, the laughter, and just spice up your relationship. So definitely go ahead, look down in the description box below, click the appropriate link, purchase the program. That's absolutely going to help me keep these videos free for you guys here, as well as supplying you guys with the information, the tips and tools that I always talk about so you too can have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship. Now, on to the question. So it's on my phone. Um, I'm going to leave out her name. So she says, hello, my name is... I'm." 38 year old female from Buffalo, New York. I have two sons, six months and four year old. The relationship with the boy's father ended over one year ago. It was a very toxic and verbal, uh, verbally abusive relationship that lasted 11 years. So thank you and you're welcome and congratulations. Okay, all wrapped up into one for writing me, for understanding that you need to get out of the relationship and then also understanding that you deserve more and you don't want your boys to see the verbally abusive um relationship and that it was just very toxic so congratulations for getting out of that relationship okay now I'm, I'm gonna get back to the letter okay <laughs> um, I recently lost 55 pounds so now I'm looking and feeling better than ever I am an RN and I recently met a 45 year old divorcee with three ch um, children ranging in ages 11 through 22 years in my hospital's cafeteria he also is a hospital employee but he has two full-time jobs we have been talking for about one month he texts me every day tells me how beautiful I am and how much he misses me we have only hung out four times one time each week he can he constantly wait I'm sorry he's constantly telling me he misses me and texting me but he rarely asks me my availability for dates or just to hang out I understand that he is a busy man due to the fact that he has two full-time jobs and I am okay with that only um, seeing him two times per week. Wait, 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 let me back up. And I am okay with only seeing him two times per week, which I have told him. So, so I just want to clear that up. He, they've only, um, they've only met for one month. 
they be hanging out at least one time a week but she wants to hang out at least twice per week so that's what I want to clear make sure that you guys understand that but only seeing him one time per week I feel is not enough time to build a strong connection or relationship which I have expressed to him my question is do you think I should end this courtship or should I just be patient and see what happens a few months from now I have never been married and my goal is to marry in the future so there are a few things that I want to point out here okay so the very first thing that I have to say is that um, for you guys to only have been seeing each other hanging out whatever you want to call it dating for one month he has made it a point to see you at least one time per week um, sis that's actually really good uh, <laughs> I know that you're not looking at it that way and you don't believe that it's good at least right now but I have to say that that really is a great thing for you and for him and so here's why because you don't want the potential relationship to fizzle out too fast so research has actually shown that when you start a relationship super super fast and y'all going and y'all seeing each other all the time and um, y'all hanging out all the time and basically like from sun up to sundown y'all together within the first few weeks of doing all of that the guy actually gets scared and basically pulls back or even just runs away you never hear from him at all again and the reason why that is is because he has given so much. Now, I'm not saying that you are not giving that much, right, as the woman. But in the story, the man is giving so much of his time, his energy, his effort. He is putting everything out on the table to hang out with you. Maybe he's even um, uh, being vulnerable with you much faster than even he would have liked to be. And so because of that, instead of him thinking about just taking it slow let me make sure that we see each other this amount of times he's just basically trying to pack everything into the first few weeks of dating and he gets burnt out and you're left wondering what the hell happened because everything was going good y'all talked all the time y'all text all the time right y'all hung out all the time and all of a sudden he has ghosted you so you don't want to get ghost and a way for you as the lady to do that is to slow down. Now, that's not ha happening in your own relationship or potential relationship, but one time per week for a month of dating, i.e. hanging out, is excellent. You already mentioned that he has two full-time jobs. Also, he has children. You have children. Y'all got lives, you know, um, outside of each other obviously right so with that being said you don't want to feel like he has to or I should say he doesn't want to feel like he has to be pressured into seeing you more times than he wants to at this stage yes he's calling you he's texting you he's telling you how beautiful you are um, and how much he misses you and he's making time for you I know as the woman, especially when you have it in your mind, you said it in your letter that you want to be married in the future. But I want you to slow down, sis, and embrace and accept what's happening right now in this moment. He's giving you the time that he can give you right now. As the months go on, it should pick up where you guys are seeing each other on a regular basis as long as the times that you guys are together are pretty much nothing but happy-go-lucky times at this stage now if you need to check him or put him in his place or vice versa he needs to check you or put you in your place then that's something that you should do don't let things just linger on because especially in the very beginning of meeting somebody because we have this thought that I want to be married I want to be in a relationship so automatically we put all of our eggs into this one basket and especially as a woman I've been there I've done this myself and then we put in all of this unnecessary pressure on ourselves unnecessary pressure on our potential mates to spend more time with us because you want this relationship to get off and going and going and going and going but I'm telling you to slow down because you don't even know if this is the guy that you want to be around not only you but around your children and the, the same for him he has no idea if he even wants you to be incorporated into his life 
like that at this point. Just at this point. Just think about if you let things unfold naturally, they will naturally increase as far as you guys hanging out more. You will get your two times per week. But here's the thing that I want you to, to realize. What if he really, 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 really wants to see you three or four times a week, but you put the cap on, we have to see each other twice a week. And maybe you left it there, like twice is my time that we need to see each other. But what if he wants to see you more and more? Now he has to think about this conversation that you had with him as far as two times per week. Also, let me bring up the fact that you are, even though you don't think that you are, sis, you are putting unnecessary pressure on him. And I know that I mentioned that before, but I want to make sure that you understand that putting these little demands out there so soon, like we have to see each other in order for this relationship to grow, in order for us to, you know, learn each other that much better. You never really get to know a person overnight. So you are going to have to spend more time with him. Yes, I'm with you on that. But you don't want it to be a pressure situation where he feels obligated to have to hang out with you, to have to see you. Because only thing you're going to be doing is really he's going to be finding ways to pull away from you and finding ways to pretty much get you out of his life because nobody wants to feel pressured in a fun stage, especially now. One month in, sis, this, that, that's like pressure. Like we got to see each other twice a month because if we don't, then we're not going to get to know each other. You will. And that will naturally happen if you let things unfold naturally. Okay? Let them unfold naturally. You'll see that he will call more. He will text more. If you, yes, you, my sister, if you pull back yourself, start doing exactly what you want to do. Start making sure that, not start, but make sure and continue to do the things that you like to do. Because I do not want you to get solely wrapped up into this relationship or potential relationship. Because right now it's not even a relationship. It's a hangout kind of thing. You don't have the title. Y'all just been kind of kicking it, hanging out for a month, right? And calling, texting. All of that can fizzle out real quick. We all know I've been in that cycle before. It get hype, you get hype, you get hype, and you're like, yeah, yeah, this one, okay, this one probably going to work out. He been around, he been calling, texting, okay, we about to see each other, cool. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you getting all hype and stuff only for him to be gone. And then you like call or you text and no answer. Or the answering comes further and further or hours and hours apart when they used to be as soon as I sent, put, press send there was a reply or very soon after it. So if you pull away, live your life, do the things that you like to do, and then, of course, answer his calls, of course, answer his texts, right? But you pull away. When you pull away, now he's feeling like, okay, what's going on? Basically, I'm saying you let him do the chasing because that's what men like to do. You continue to be the challenge and I'm not saying don't never answer the calls, right? And I'm not saying, you know, play like a full-hearted game. But I kind of am. <laughs> so th there's, there's like a fine line. There's a fine line to playing the game the right way and then playing just, just overdoing it and you getting it all the way wrong. When he texts you, don't text him back right away. Because you need to slow things down. You also want to let him know that he is not your everything right now. He's not your everything right now. And that you have a life. Whether you are at work, whether you're out with the kids, or whether you're out with your friends or your family, whatever. You have a life. This is new. He might not be here. But your job is going to be there. Your friends going to be there. And your children going to be there. He might not. So continue to live your life when he texts. You can text them back. I'm not saying to never text them right back, but don't do it all the time. Scale that back. Even if you ain't got nothing going on, you got something going on because you ain't answering that text. You ain't answering that call. Also, pull it back in the sense that, again, you want him to chase you more, right? You want him to ask you out more. And so don't ask him. Just watch his behavior. That's absolutely, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. 
That's exactly what I had to do with my now husband. I scaled it all the way back. I would answer his calls. I would answer his texts. But I would do it in my own time frame. I also gave him a schedule or a cutoff schedule when he could contact me. Because men really, 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 even though they don't ever say it, they love a woman who has standards. They love a woman who has rules. Because most of the time, women just let the men run all over them, run all through them, just going along 100% with his schedule. Even though he will take everything that you let him take from you, he don't really like that. Because we really all like structure. We like to be put in our place. Or I should say, men like to be put in their place. They do. Just think about all of your friends who out there and all your family members out there. And you think that they might be bees. Biatches, right? <laughs> you think they might be a biatch, but they got a boo. That love them to death. Because men love structure. Men love a woman with standards. Don't let them just come when he wants to come, call when he wants to call. Um, like, I'm going to get back to my um, now husband. I told him 10 o'clock was your cutoff time to reach me. Mm -mm. If we're not together or if we are not currently on the phone, don't call me at the 10 p.m. It didn't matter that I was just sitting in the house watching TV. He ain't have to know that. <laughs> he ain't have to know that. And then I was the first one to break my own rule because I wanted to talk to him more. But it was after he had shown me that he was more consistent, that he was actually a man of his word, that he actually wanted to hang out with me, that he actually wanted to text me. And and we were currently in the relationship. Like if the, the relationship was brand new. So after the whole first... Um, six weeks of us just kind of dating around with each other and maybe even other people we decided to make it official after six weeks but it was after i gave him the structure the standards to let him see no you can't just do whatever you want to do with me and i have continued that with him guess what i'm married now because they like structure they like standards they like for a woman not to let them do whatever they want to do. So anyway, I went off on a tangent, but pull back a little bit, okay? Just pull back a little bit and let him chase you. Become the challenge again. Because if you are the one who is always saying, hey, please, or maybe and maybe you're not saying it like this, but you're, but this, this is what you're coming off as. Please pick me. Please, let's hang out. Please, let's do this. Please, let's do that. He like, mm, I'm going to go on over here and talk to whoever. And it ain't you. Also, when you are too eager, men see that as desperation. Like you are going to make them your whole world. And that is scary. Because again, that's that unnecessary pressure that you are putting on him. Even though you don't think you put it on him. You are putting unnecessary added pressure on him too soon. Like, we have to spend twice a week together so we can get to know each other. He likes slow down, boo. I don't even know if I like you like that. That's the way you have to be with him. I don't even know if I like you like that. Like, I remember telling him, like, I'm still testing you out, like my, my, my now husband. I don't know if you'd have made the cut. I remember telling him that. I don't know. Which, in my mind, I, of course, I knew he made the cut. He was the only one that I was talking to. But he didn't know that. I have to see where you at. I have to see exactly where you at before I let down all of my guard and let you fully in. And that's exactly what you have to do, sis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think about my advice to this young lady? Definitely go ahead and put some comments down in the comment section below so she can read you guys' advice as well. Is there something that you think I should have mentioned that I did not mention to her? What would you actually advise her to do as far as should she walk away after one month or should she just wait it out for the next few months just to see what's exactly going to happen? I would have to say, because I never did personally answer it, I would have to say that you should just slow down and let things unfold and wait a few more months. Now, after a few more months, if you are not seeing each other more than one time a week, then I would absolutely be trying to figure out why that is. And then if he can't give me a solid answer to say, you know what, after said date, 
you know, because I've been trying to make this money, whatever, whatever his reasoning is. After said date, I'm definitely going to, you know, where we're going to pick up and we're going to actually go out on more dates, etc. like that. If, if there is not an explanation like that, then I would absolutely be pulling all the way back and maybe even just cutting it off all together. Obviously, the choice is yours. Definitely, I feel like you should actually ask for some guidance from your higher power. Mine is God. So if your higher power is God, then absolutely ask God, from God for some guidance on this. Should you stay? Should you go? Also, ask God to take the rose-colored glasses off so you can see exactly who this man is for who he is and not for what you want him to be. All right, if you are very new here, if this is your very first time here, or if you've been coming for a while and you have not yet hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face, I will absolutely suggest that you go ahead and do that because here at I Love Me Me Me, I answer all of you guys' questions, but I love to supply you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships and especially the potential of a relationship. If you have not yet, check out my online courses. I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.